So I'm here at Wolverhampton Half Penny Green Airport for my first lesson for my pilot's license. It's quite exciting. The airport is rather busy today. It's good weather. So let's see how this goes. Bravo, Papa Echo Oscar, I hate you good information. Taxi holding point Alpha 5, runway 34, QNH 1015. Alpha 1015, Golf Echo Oscar. So I'll just get us off the glass. And then I will give you control of the pedals, alright? Okay. So all the way to do is follow this yellow line all the way around. Golf Alpha Alpha, at the fuel bay, request taxi back to the apron. Golf Alpha Alpha, Roger, there's traffic uh, on your left hand side taxiing to park on the grass. In your 10 o'clock, you can taxi on to taxi Alpha and then hold this. Got the Oscar on to Alpha 5, ready for departure. Uh, just going to do a rolling takeoff, so 2000 RPM, get temperature pressures, T's and P's are all good, and full power. Hold on a moment, I believe some introduction is in order. Hi, for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to learn how to fly, and about a week ago, I took my first lesson. My name is Mo, welcome to my channel. In this video series, I would like to share and document my learning journey. To get the license, you must complete a minimum of 30 hours covering 18 practical exercises, in addition to 9 theory exams. This lesson would cover the first formal flying training exercise which is exercise 4. Exercise 4 covers the effect of the controls, as well as the effect of power changes, trimming, using the flaps, and how to use the carburetor heat and mixture control. At this point we're ready to take off, so I'll leave you with the flight and I'll catch up with you later after we land. Uh, just going to do a rolling takeoff, so 2000 RPM, get your temperature pressures, T's and P's are all good and full power. And we're looking for 55 knots on the speed. There's 50, 55, and then we're climbing away, 65. Golf Delta Romeo, overhead the field, uh, 2,000 feet on 1004, a runway 3. And then we're looking for 65 in the climb. Golf Delta Romeo, Roger, one climbing out, no reported circuit traffic, report down. Uh, visual with the uh, climbing out traffic. So, 600 feet, if you can put the flaps up for me, so move them that way. Oh, 
a look anything around nope so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the ailerons so the ailerons control roll okay. on the edge of the wing so all I'm going to do is just a little bit of pressure on the left and feel me relax up there but look what yeah. happens to the aircraft the aircraft still turns or still rolls I should say but we're not putting any pressure on the control column and then that's the right relax hold that and then over to the right and then relax so that is the effect of aileron so aileron controls roll left or right okay. so you have control okay and i just want you to practice that left and right okay and that's it and then back to the middle Okay, I have control. Okay. If you want to follow me through the controls again, this time we're going to look at the effect of elevator. So elevator right. at the back, yeah. elevator will control pitch. So pitch up. I'm relaxing the pressure, but the hey, aircraft still holds. Golf Alpha, Victor Bravo, Tango, taxiing from Field Bay. Back to the middle. Point, runway 34. Hope you traffic. Bit of forward pressure. Relax. And then back to the middle. Okay? Okay. So you have control. And I just want you to practice the effect of elevator. So, first up, that's it, relax that. There we go. So the aircraft still holds there. Oh. That's it. Back to the middle. Right, I have control. Okay. Next thing I'm going to look at is what the pedals do on the floor. All right. So, whenever you're ready, I want your left foot to push all the way on the left pedal, nice and gentle. All the way? Yep, yeah, all the way. And I want you to see what happens. There we go. And then all the way to the right. And then back to the middle. So that is the rudder at the back. So that okay. is moving the aircraft like that. Okay. The effect of your. Okay? Happy with those? Yes. So, cool. So, next thing we're going to look at is bring me on to the point you made about the aircraft wants to pitch down. Yeah. Okay? So, the aircraft wants to pitch down because of this here. Okay. So, if I put, pushing that nose forward, I want you to feel what happens to the control. So, if I'm pushing all the way down, feel the control want to go forwards. Yes. If I do the other way, notice how it wants to go back. Okay. Right. So, I have control a second. Okay. I just want to show you the effect of the throttle as well. So, flying along normally, all I'm going to do is add four pound. I want you to notice what happens to the nose. Traffic Golf, Bravo, Bravo, Delta, Charlie, taxi, Alpha, five, three. Yep, nose will pitch up. Now I'm going to go power all the way off and I want you to see what happens to the nose. Stops. So, big thing to take from that is the more power you have, the more higher nose up. The less power you have, nose down. Only in traffic, uh, Golf Echo Oscar, we're going to join left base uh, for runway 34. Okay, mate, you all strapped in still? Yes, I am. Good. Is that about to be significant? <laughs> so, with the landing, all I'm doing on the ground is taking a feature. And it's a bit like, you know, when you four fingers on keeping the feature the same. Sticking a number on the ground by like keeping that in the same place. If you keep that in the same place, keep your speed right. You'll get done. I was pleased to see how easy it is to fly that airplane. One thing that wasn't immediately obvious to me is how much change on the yoke is required to make a certain change on the airplane, nor how quickly the airplane will respond. That being said, that is something that would just need some getting used to, just like driving a new car. I think at this point I should introduce my flying school, my instructor and the airplane. The school is Air Midwest, operating from Wolverhampton Halfpenny Green Airport. 
My instructor is Josh, seen here probably wondering when will I stop talking about trying to film my flight for a YouTube video. And the airplane is a Cessna 152. So that's the first hour in the logbook. And hopefully next week I'll be able to add one or two more hours to the logbook. Weather permits. If you want to follow my flying training progress, you know the drill. Subscribe and tick the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.